All right, so you now have your Raspberry Pi, and you're trying to figure out how the heck you're going to get an operating system on that. So when you figure out a way to power it, it actually boots on to something. And what you're going to want to do is go to raspberrypi.org, and I'm going to walk you through how you get the base operating system that they call Wheezy up and running. So you go to raspberrypi.org, and then you go to the download section. And here you will see that they have uh, the Raspbian Wheezy image available for download. And that's what we're going to be using. So the first thing you need to do is download the, uh, the image. And you should be able to either use a direct link or wait for it to download. Um, I've already downloaded it, so I'm not going to save it right now. But after you download that, uh, extract the zip and remember where you put the image. The next thing you're going to need to do is get the Win32 Disk Imager. This allows us to take the image that we just made and put it on the SD card in a bootable fashion. So if we go to the Win32 Disk Imaging website, uh, we should be able to download it from there. But I'm actually going to go through this guide for beginners because I think it has a lot of really good steps on how you actually do this. Probably better than any way I could describe it. So we're going to be going down to the easy way and following these instructions on how we're going to get the uh, Wheezy image onto the SD card. So we go and we get to the Win32 disk imager. I'm actually going to open that in a new window. and we go and we're going to download the binary files and you can see the latest version that I'm downloading right now is uh, 0.6 so I download the binary I actually need to download this still so I have this download and we are pretty much complete I'm going to open the containing folder and I'm moving, oops, I'm going to move this file to my Raspberry Pi folder. And I'm going to extract. And you're going to want the binary, not the, uh, the source. Um, that should just make things a little easier for you to run. Um, it comes pre-compiled. So we go to the binary section. And if we run the Win32 disk imager, we select our image file. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to make sure I'm going to actually insert my SD card. So I insert my SD card. I should see it come up here. OK, so it is the E drive. Um, and it's important to know which drive you're using because you don't want to overwrite your entire drive. So we go, we have the E drive selected. We're going to use the image um, here. Save it. And we are going to write the image file to device. Yes. And now it's writing it to the device. So. Theoretically, when we're done, we should be able to insert it into uh, the Raspberry Pi board, boot it up, and you should be uh, off to the races. So we'll see how it goes, uh, and I will let you know how it worked out.